Thousands of young Indians have joined the UNESCO MGIP Kindness Matters campaign, which aims at mobilizing the youth to foster a positive culture of kindness. A. The sun is still to rise over Kerala's Manchadikari village, but Rajapan is wide awake. The 69 year old villager, whose legs were paralyzed after he contracted polio as a child, crawls down to the Minakil River and slides onto a boat. Then, for 17 hours, he collects plastic waste from the waterways of Vimbanad Lake. He has done this almost daily for the last five years. And he plans to continue to work every day, spreading kindness to the natural world around him, one plastic bottle at a time. Reads a chapter in a book called Kindness Matters. For thousands of students in India and others across the world, Rajapan is a beacon of hope. Many, like him, are making efforts small or big for a better world. Rajapan's story is one of 50 such accounts in the collection, published in November 2021. The story reinforces the need for kindness, which is at the heart of a global movement led by the United Nations Educational, Social and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, MGIEP, Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Education for Peace and Sustainable Development. The book is a part of the hashtag Kindness Matters campaign which was launched in 2018 by UNESCO Jeep and seeks to mobilize the world's youth to achieve the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, adopted by all UN members. The SDGs include action to end poverty and hunger, for gender equality, quality education, and clean water and sanitation. He campaign started on October 2, 2018, an important date and year on the calendar for Principles of Kindness. The Apostle of Peace, Mahatma Gandhi, was born on October 2, 1869, and 2018 marked the start of celebrations to mark his 150th birth anniversary. The year also commemorated the birth centenary of South African leader and Nobel Peace Laureate Nelson Mandela. The campaign focuses on youth and was launched with youth activities across India, South Africa, and Pakistan. Indian youth groups marked the day with a mass blood donation drive in collaboration with the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, food distribution and educational sessions for unprivileged children, to give the youth opportunities to acquire the social and emotional skills that promote coexistence. UNESCO Jeep organized the first World Youth Conference on Kindness in New Delhi in August 2019, centered on the theme Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam, Gandhi for the Contemporary World. It highlighted the role of compassion in achieving the SDGs. The Sanskrit words Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam mean the world is a family. Youth Power The kindness movement has been drawing the youth in India, too. In April 2021, students from 107 schools across the country joined the global campaign. Since then, the schools have collected over 100,000 stories of kindness from students, teachers, parents, and alumni and submitted them to the UN. Clearly, schools have been looking at lessons taught not just in classrooms. Teaching science and mathematics is not the only job of an educationist, says Jody Aurora, principal, Mount Abu Public School, Delhi. We have to empower students to build a caring and sharing society. How do we do this? By fostering an environment of kindness where everyone respects each other, she explains. From early 2020, the school has been organizing a slew of activities to inculcate kindness among students. To begin with, it found that most students associated kindness with donations. Educational online sessions were conducted to broaden this definition. Kindness can be anything from watering a tree to feeding a stray animal, Aurora stresses. No act of kindness is too small or too big. For Priya Tripathi, a student of grade 9, it translated into helping a friend who had met with a road accident and had to be taken to a hospital. The timely treatment helped her recover fast, Tripathi says. For Tanishka Johar, a grade 6 student at the same school, kindness is about regularly feeding street dogs in her neighborhood and planting saplings. These small acts of kindness give me a huge sense of achievement, she says. The school has set up the post of kindness leader in the student council. Just outside the school campus, it has erected a wall of kindness where anyone can place anything from warm clothes and utensils to pencil boxes for others to pick up. During daily attendance, students are asked to relate acts of kindness. The larger picture. The late South African Nobel laureate, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, had once said, Do your little bit of good where you are. It's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. 
This is the crux of the kindness campaign, which highlights the need for people to be kind to themselves, to those around them, and, effectively, to the world. By creating connections that strengthen the culture of kindness, the campaign provides young people with an empowering platform where they share stories of compassion and reflect how these can be used to address global challenges such as climate change, migration, diversity, and social inclusion. Many of the stories on the site, for instance, are about cleaning up one's immediate environment. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give the comment.